I've literally just picked up from exactly where I left off last week. It's Monday morning, it's very dark, it's very grey. Um, like My camera's really grainy because it's so dark, but it's literally like 20 past eight, it shouldn't be this dark. This morning I've got to ring the doctors because I went last week for my uh, birth control pill checkup, which I have like every year just to be like, let's weigh you, which is always delightful, and check your blood pressure and make sure you're okay. Um, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, they basically, they gave me my prescription for my normal pill and everything was okay. It's a bit, my dad had some mini strokes a few years ago. So they're always like, they've always told me that they need to um, be quite careful about the one that, my hair looks different lengths this morning. Uh, yeah, they need to be really careful about which one they put me on because of that. And I got switched off of my old one. And then this doctor that I saw basically was like, oh, um, yeah, we don't take that into account, um, so that wouldn't matter. And I was like, oh, okay, got switched off my old pill that I was quite happy with, and this one, a bit less happy with because of it, but whatever. And he was like, also, you should only be having a four-day break because having a seven-day break like you do is increasing your risk of pregnancy. And I was like, also, put my shoes on, also brilliant. Um... But then, yeah, basically he prescribed me my normal one and when I went to pick it up, it's been like discontinued, which is <laughs> quite concerning. Um, the manufacturers aren't making it anymore and that, like nobody knows. I went into a, quite a small pharmacy and they were basically like, go and try a big pharmacy because they might have just had a bigger back stock, but they haven't been making it for a while and there's no kind of update on when they will be so they don't know when it's coming back at all and then I went to a bigger pharmacy and they basically said go to a smaller pharmacy because they might get people requesting it less often so yeah that was quite frustrating that was quite frustrating um because now I've got to make this really really quick appointment um first thing on a Monday because if I was taking my four-day break I should have started taking the pills yesterday which I obviously couldn't do because I don't have any and now I need to start taking them by Wednesday evening at the latest to like still be protected. So yeah, it's Monday morning and annoying. Like I usually try to get in for about quarter past eight, but my um, doctor's doesn't open till half eight. So I've got to wait around so that I can call because I can't go into work and then leave and then call them. So it's, all, it's just very frustrating. Good morning, guys. It's... Tuesday. I keep thinking it's Wednesday. Look how pretty they are now they've bloomed. I really, I need to buy more lilies. Basically, <laughs> I was all ready to go into work early, except I wasn't. I was meant to leave at eight and it's 10 past and I haven't left. And I'm vlogging, so probably not gonna leave till about 20 past. I decided to bring in leftovers from Sunday. Um, I made a butter chicken, oh, sorry, just putting my shoes on. I made a butter chicken curry and I basically decided to cook rice this morning. And then I came I came down the stairs and I was like, oh my God, my house smells like burning. Like one, why is the smoke alarm not gone off? And two, like what smells like burning? And obviously I've left the rice on and it is like, like, oh. is that even gonna come off the bottom of the pan? I think I'm just gonna boil some water quickly and pour some in to try and get it out because otherwise I don't think that's gonna come off. And like all around the pan is burnt. Like I don't know, I don't know if that's like just rice stuff or bits of pan. I'm hoping it's rice. So all in all, not a great morning so far. Um, I literally, I've never been that, well I have, but that was <laughs> such a scary moment. I have been that scared in my life. But I raised down the stairs like, oh my God, my house is gonna be on fire, isn't it? What have I done? Um, so now I'm gonna have to find a new breakfast, because a new breakfast, a new lunch, because we don't have any like, we did have some pouches of rice, but we ate them the other night and now we don't have any. So, and there's nothing, no kind of, oh, let's see if this works. some washing up liquid in and just hope um yeah so all in all i now don't have a lunch really well i need to find something i was really excited to eat that 
um, butter chicken for lunch. I'm gonna bring in stuff to make a tuna sandwich. That's what's gonna happen. Right, take this out. Yeah, it was the butter chicken that I showed you guys that I made the other night. And I meant to make extra rice, but then I remembered that we were having little rice pouches, which we <laughs> never have. I bought as a treat because living my best life. Morning, um, it's Wednesday. I feel like I'm a day ahead. Like I keep thinking it's Thursday and yesterday I thought it was Wednesday, etc., etc. So confused as to what day it is. I thought I'd pop on really quickly and show you what I'm having for breakfast. I keep meaning to do like a day in the life of what I eat, but I eat a lot of like sn random snacks at work that I wouldn't be able to show you. So maybe I'll do it this weekend. I'm thinking of doing that. But this morning's very boring breakfast. It's just Rice Krispies with rice milk and a plum. Um, and I was just sorting out, bringing in some green tea for work. So I don't really drink milk. Um, so having tea or coffee at work, I just, I don't really do. I don't really have it at home either. I just have green tea. Um, because I've not found like a dairy free milk that really tastes good. And I'm not a big tea or coffee drinker anyway. So it, is, it doesn't really bother me, but yeah, I really like green tea. So that's breakfast. <laughs> My kitchen is slightly tidier than it was yesterday. Not that you would be able to tell because it still looks awful. But this morning we're not trying to make rice. Hey guys, it's Friday morning and it's the first Friday in roughly forever where I actually feel okay. <laughs> like I don't feel this clawing misery, scraping at my soul. <laughs> Yay. So yeah, yesterday I felt so unwell. I had this big plan. I think I spoke about it last time I was on here. I was going to do loads of things. I was going to sort my life out, write a blog post, hopefully get a video up, sort out the kitchen because it's an absolute tip, do some washing, like sort my life out. Um, but I had this really bad belly ache, like as though I was the kind of really awful belly cramps that you get when you're just about to be sick when you've got a stomach bug, but I wasn't sick. So I'm slightly paranoid that I'm dying, <laughs> that I'm, yeah, there's something wrong, but it's gone away now. So it's all good. And my brows have gone well this morning for me. Um, yeah, my hair hasn't been washed in about three gazillion days, but I'm hoping to go to Power Bar tomorrow morning. And I get so sweaty that I have to wash my hair after that. So I'm gonna go and get my special breakfast this morning. I th really hoped, I was expecting to have some like packages that I really wanted to show you, but they haven't come. I've bought Mrs. Hinch's Hint Yourself Happy book this week because me and my sister really love her and my sister's having a bit of a rubbish time at the moment. So I'm making a care package with this in and our local Morrisons have started selling minkies, which I've gone for the last couple of weeks and they've been sold out and it's been devastating. But I'm hoping that this week I managed to get hold of one and I'm gonna send the book, the minky and some magic stars and a little postcard. I basically, I have a whole collection of little postcards to send to my sister when she's feeling rubbish. So I'm gonna pop one of those in as well and write a nice little message on it. Well, that's the plan. And then tonight I was meant to be seeing a friend, but um, she had to cancel. So we, we, I'm going to Pilates. I think I've said that about three times. I'm going to Pilates. I love Pilates. I couldn't go last week. And it was part of why I was so, I was hung over and I couldn't go to Pilates and I just spent, I just cried in the bath and it was, <laughs> it was a low point because seeing your like naked body whilst you're crying is not, not ever really fun. Um, I'm getting my special Friday morning breakfast and yeah, I'm hoping to sort out my kitchen. Like this is a state, just prepare yourselves. So washing up kind of starts here, goes round, goes round, goes round, goes round, goes round. And there's some in the sink. So that is, I literally haven't done any in days and I've just felt too ill. And we have an agreement that my boyfriend unstacks the thing and puts it away because I hate doing that and I do the washing up. So I just haven't done it. And he's done his part. And yeah, there's all the clothes that need putting away. I need to wash clothes. Everything's a tip, like the ironing board's out. And he's going out to poker this evening with his friends. So I've got the house to myself. So I'm going to try and be really productive and bake and put a video up, write a blog post <laughs> and share it all with you guys. So I've just finished up at Pilates. I wasn't hung too hungover to go last week. And this is so like dusty and dirty from where we've had Ted in the car in his pet box from 
I think we went away for a few days and we took him to like a bunny boarding place. Um, I'm really looking forward to this weekend. I'm going to go out to Morrison's now to buy snacks. Um, buy snacks and what? Oh, snacks and try to get a minky. That is my mission for the weekend is to get a minky. Um, because yeah, my best friend's coming over tomorrow. I'm hoping to go to Power Bar, which is at 11, um, finish it at 12 and then I need to wash my hair because I haven't washed it since Tuesday. It's now Friday. Um, and then she's coming over at one. So I'm not gonna really have any time to get anything in and we wanna have like a snack, some films. And I think we're gonna do some face masks and maybe paint our nails and just like have a like nice little pamper afternoon and then sunday i've got some people from work coming over in the evening for a board game night so all in all very exciting way more than i normally do and this week i'm determined to try to remember to show you god look at this lazy eye what is he doing why why are you looking there um literally bane of my life Good morning, it's Saturday morning. Um, I haven't showered or even brushed my hair because, well, I haven't brushed my hair because I'm I, just too lazy right now. <laughs> but I haven't washed my hair or showered because I'm going to the gym. I've booked myself in for Power Bar, which is at 11. It's currently like five past eight and I've just had some like Rice Krispies and fruit for breakfast. Cause basically the first time I went to the class, I thought it will be a great idea to have like a big breakfast because I'm gonna be doing a workout and it's quite intense and um, that's what I'll need. But I felt so sick the whole way through, like I thought I was gonna vomit. and I spoke to somebody that goes to the class and she said basically, just have something light before you go and then have a big lunch. So that's what I'm planning on doing because as I said yesterday, I've got the snacks and stuff for um, my best friend coming over. So that's, she's coming over at like one just after I finish. This is the state of the bathroom right now. We've got loads and loads of like gross mold growing in the grout, which is not ideal. It's just been building up for ages. This isn't just like a three week thing. I try spraying it with this, which is quite like an intense one. Um, oh, so out of breath. Um, but basically Mrs. Hinch recommends spraying that onto cotton pads and then placing them on it in the grout for three hours and then coming back and seeing it. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that and see if it works, but yeah, like everything is just a tip in here. And it's not focusing. There we go, yeah, everything's just a tip. So I will show you what it looks like. Oh. And this is it all nice and clean again. This needs to go away actually. In our cleaning slash like overflow cupboard. Um, but yeah, it's all, all clean again. I've got all of these up because I've literally just cleaned it and they need to stand for a few hours. Um, but yeah, much, much better. It's Sunday. I'm in my dressing gown for about the 17th time. Um, we've been sort of busy. I say that. I got up, wrote a meal plan, did the food shopping, came home and had a nap because I was so tired. I was just like knackered. I don't really know why, but I'm about to do some baking. Um, because I've got, I, I think I said we're having this games night tonight. So I'm baking some brownies for that. I've got to cook lots of food for it. But before those things, it's somebody's birthday at work that I need to bake a cake for for tomorrow. So I'm doing that first and then working my way through my list. I think I've got some tidying. I really need to clean the floors of the kitchen and the bathroom. Write a blog post, doing some washing, editing and uploading a video. Yeah, taking some blog photos, stuff like that. So. Should be all good. So I'm making this Pinterest recipe. I'm just gonna get it back up. Um, oh, it would help this. It's a raspberry and chocolate muffin loaf um, for somebody's birthday at work. So I've just got all the ingredients out. They said to use um, frozen raspberries. So I've got that, got the chocolate chips, eggs, milk, vegetable oil, plain flour, vanilla extract, salt, baking pay, powder, and sugar. Um, I've not made muffins in quite some time, so let's hope this weird muffin loaf goes well. And you put a lot of milk in, you put like 250 ml of milk in, so I'm feeling a bit con concerned about that. Okay, so I finished baking the cake. Everything in here is so messy now. Oh, why did I put the lid on properly? So, this is the 
this is what the cake looks like. I'm quite pleased with it. It's sunk in the middle of there. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave the lid off so it doesn't, so it's yeah, raspberry and chocolate chip. And now I'm making Easter brownies and they've got so much chocolate and I actually don't have enough chocolate. It's Monday morning and I really wanted to show you before I put, actually I'm gonna put the ironing pile back down here, but imagine it wasn't here, um, what we did for last night. So we tidied everything around here and Round here it was all clear, um, and this is where I laid out the food. And I really wanted to show, I'm so gutted. I didn't get time to show you guys because um, literally everybody arrived as I was still dishing things up. So we had like, um, we had salad and we had chips and like guacamole, salsa, sour cream, hummus. Um, we had nachos with cheese and vegan nachos and we had a vegan pasta and a non-vegan pasta because a couple of the people that co were coming were vegan um, and we had a whole thing of brownies and then I put the flowers up here as well. We had this candle lit and we had, I will show you, we had these on and we had, there's a thing down there which we had the lights on as well but I can't be bothered to show you guys and it looked really nice and I really wish I'd had a chance um we put Sid up here he's in his little wheel hello good morning hello hello I don't know if you guys can there he is um yeah and we tidied up all around here and then we basically moved the table round because there were seven of us in the end. Uh, we've only got four chairs, so a couple of people brought chairs with them, which was very helpful. Um, but yeah, this is why we played the games, and it all looked really nice, and it was it was just really like pretty with the candle on and all the fairy lights on, and I wish I had had a chance to <laughs> um, vlog it for you guys, but it was just so busy, and now my kitchen just looks like this again. Uh, every, uh, there are a lot of people like, oh, we, we can help with the washing up, but I was just like, it was like quarter past ten by the time they left. Um, and these are the brownies I made. So they've got like loads of the different mini eggs in. Um, we ate quite a few last night, but there's still a fair amount left, so I'm bringing lots into work. We had Ted in for cuddles. It was just really nice. And yeah, as I said, really gutted. I didn't have a chance to vlog it because it looked really nice. <laughs> um, and I was proud of our house for a change. So this is me signing off from the vlog for the week. I was so hyped to have like exciting content for you yesterday with showing you how I'd set everything up. And then, then I ran out of time. So I'm not really sure if I had anything exciting to show you this week, but this coming week, should be a bit better.